Welcome back to Quick Redstone with Malsu. Today, or at least in this episode, we're going to look at generating power. So we looked at redstone before and how uh, signal works from level 15 all the way down to zero, but how do we get that power? The first and easiest way is with a button. You just right click and you get power, whether it's with stone or with wood. Now wood buttons stay depressed longer, so you get a, bit, a little, little bit of a longer uh, pulse of, of power where the stone is much shorter. The lever is either an on or an off as you use it. So you've got some options for, for quickly, easily activating that. It can be on a wall, on the ceiling, on the floor. Uh, the pressure plates, and there's some options here, when you stand on them, they turn on. And they all kind of work the same way as you walk on them. The differences are going to be a wooden pressure plate, anything can be on it, whether that's you, me, a creeper, uh, a bow, any kind of item will work. Now with the stone ones, items don't do anything. It has to be either a player or a mob that steps on either the black stone or the regular stone pressure plates. The heavy and, and lightweight pressure plates made out of gold and iron, gold is the lightweight, iron is the heavyweight, will take a player. The difference being, of course, is this gives out a power of 1. All the other ones will give out a power of 15, as we can see back on the right side there. The difference being, you can increase this power by adding another item that jumped up to power 2. This one will only jump up to power 2 if we can get another 10 items uh, on there. So it's by 10s that this will go up in power level. So this way you can just get a singular signal out of this quite easy without overflow if you just want a one power level. If you want to go higher than that, this has to count by tens. This will count by individual items. Whether um, that is a non-stackable or stackable item does not change. You still have to get to 10 items. And those are your pressure plates. This will work with mobs as well, but only a level of one. You would need something to increase that power to take it farther. But those are going to be the ways to simply create power. There are some, some odd ones uh, that do things a little bit differently. Some interesting ones, I should say. You've got the daylight sensor, which right now, because it's dark color, you see sort of the blues. That will generate power when it's dark. Right now, we got the sun in the sky, so that's not going to do anything. If we right-click it to change it to a daylight instead of a nightlight sensor, we are getting power. And right now, this is only giving us a power of 10, and that's because of the time of day. When this gets to noon and the sun is directly overhead, this will be power level of 15. In this op operation here, at midnight, we'll get to a power level of 15. After that, we've got the, the new uh, copper item, the lightning rod. When this is struck by lightning, either naturally in a thunderstorm, which this will attract that and increase the chances, or using a channeling trident during a thunderstorm, this will output power when it is struck by lightning, which can be a fun mechanic. The target block, you can see here, I've got some redstone coming out of it. And this, depending on where you hit this, a dead center would give you 15. Somewhere near the edge is going to give you only one. And then any, anywhere in between will give you varying levels of that, which can make for some fun um, hidden switches, secret entrances, or just some mini games that you can play with. Uh, lastly, we've got the tripwire with just the tripwire hooks and the string in between it mounted to blocks. When we step on this, we can see it lights up coming off of it or even up on top. If you had it on a block underneath one of these, that would light up as well. So anytime you walk across this, that will light up. You can sneak past it by walking where the tripwire is or the hook is. Only on the wire does it go off. The last one is the comparator, but the comparator is a little bit more of a unique item, something for uh, its own episode. So we'll get to that one later. But for now, you can see just some easy ways to make power and get your redstone lit up and functioning.